On Thursday, word emerged that Patrick Chung, born on the same day as the Patriot safety Patrick Chung, had been indicted in New Hampshire for felony cocaine possession. And by the later hours of the morning, it was clear that it was indeed the same Patrick Chung. Indictment on charges that could, in theory, and you always hear the worst case scenario of the potential sentence, but three and a half to seven years, that is a significant punishment felony charge Chris and you know the immediate reaction was well this guy's not going to play this year well that's not how it works for offenses that fall under the substance abuse policy this is not a personal conduct policy issue this is not a commissioner exemplus situation where the league can suspend him with pay nothing happens on this until the charges are resolved and we know how the legal process works it takes a while for this to work through i think it's a practical matter unless the patriots want to do something with chung the league's not going to step in he'll be available to play all season long and i think this is something that gets resolved most likely after the 2019 season still a serious situation right but to the extent that people think he's just going to disappear that's not how it works under the substance abuse policy yeah it is it is funny as far as uh, not that loophole but how it's a different set of circumstances there i, I heard you say that on radio right before we came on tv and, and went, oh, gosh, you know, I kind of forgot that that particular part of it. First off, I'm shocked that it happened on June 25th, and we're just figuring, finding this out. I mean, that's shocking. A Super Bowl safety, Patrick Chung, who's been a big part of that Patriot team for so long. It's amazing he could stay quiet for this long. Other thing is, I just want to ask you this. What is a Class B felony? You know, did, did he have a huge brick of cocaine? What does that mean? Do we know any of those details? Or was it just a little for personal use? Uh, that's where I wanted to ask you a little bit about it. Every state's got its own formula for what level of a felony something is. But obviously, the higher it is, the closer it is to A, the bigger of a deal it is, which implies that, that there's more than the usual normal amount they'd expect to find on someone. Now, it's not so much that they presume an intent to deliver, okay. right? Right. But, but I have to get into the nooks and crannies of New Hampshire law to really understand that. The bottom line, though, is if he's guilty, he's looking at a potentially significant sentence. But as far as his NFL career is concerned— he should be able to continue playing for all of the 2019 season until at some point after the year, most likely this thing gets resolved in court and then a suspension would be imposed. And, you know, we're looking at at maybe four games, maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, so it's, you know, now unless he's incarcerated, then obviously he's going to miss all of them. But uh, for this year. Patriots fans, I think you, as long as the team wants him, he'll be available. And all the fans of all the other teams that want him to be thrown out of the league, that's not how it works. We'll see how it all plays out. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.